In the next seven races, Ron was never out of the top five and came to his home Grand Prix lying fifth in the championship. The traditional big Silverstone crowd were there not just to cheer on Ron, but also Barry Sheen. Back at the site of his horrendous 1982 accident and now riding as well as ever, according to many observers. But it was Rocket Ron who yet again led into the first corner. Barry Sheen carrying his trademark number seven also showed at the front on the first lap. Halfway round the first lap and the Brits were first and second. Something for the Silverstone crowd to get on their feet about. At the end of lap one, Ron led from Didier de Radiguez on the Chevalier frame Honda triple with Sheen third in front of Randy Mamola. The American was playing politics by riding the Honda V4 for the first time after Spencer, absent after hurting his shoulder at a non-championship race in America, had criticised the new bike and switched back to the triple last time out. Lap 8, and Mamola's politicking looked to be correct. He led from Lawson with Ron hanging on to the V4s in third in front of Raymond Roche, De Radiguez and Barry Sheen. Sheen was forced to ease the pace on his ageing Suzuki and Raymond Roche crashed out. It looked like the fight for third was between Ron and De Radiguez. Leandro Beccheroni nearly caused a major incident. Not when he lost the front end and crashed out, but when his RG caught fire. Not a very happy Italian. Back at the race, Eddie Lawson had one eye on his first title and had decided it wasn't worth challenging Mamola for the lead. After De Radiguez stopped, Ron had third in the bag. Sheen was fifth behind Virginio Ferrari. Ron looked smooth, but a brake disc had developed a glaze spot and the whole bike was juddering under braking. Mamola duly gave the V4 its first win and Eddie Lawson left Silverstone needing a solitary fourth place from the two remaining races to take the title. The Woodcock Grandstand saved its biggest cheer for Ron Haslam achieving a rostrum position at his home Grand Prix, something every rider dreams of. Sheen was fifth and Rob McElnay a very credible seventh, but the glory was all Haslam's. He didn't let the emotion show, but behind the calm exterior, Ron was totally elated. As soon as you get a rostrum position like that, um, you get in your head that you're going to be unbeatable. You know, it's just it's just that feeling because you've done so well uh, at that point. Um, young Cloud Nine, you know, you sort of you're just up there and uh, you just don't think you're ever going to come down until you get to a meeting that you ain't quite got it sorted out better and you're sort of struggling to get the time practicing. And uh, as you say, you, you get up there very high, but because it's so strong a competition and so good a competition, it soon knocks you back to reality and it makes you realise how hard it is again to try and you know, produce the same result.